everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to save your bookmarks using Notion. So working as an interior designer, we take a lot of inspiration from websites, whether that is a specific project that you liked or it's a furniture or lighting um, suppliers that you wanna save it for your future reference. And this is how I've been saving all of my website under the bookmark. But basically I have been finding it really difficult to go back and look for specific things. And also um, I use my work laptop as well as my personal laptop to save things um, in a different places. So Notion has definitely saved me from losing resources, switching between two browsers and keep everything in one place. And on top of that, Notion has helped me so much to save my time to look for specific product or website since you can basically create a tag under your project or website. So it's a lot more easier to just type in the keyword and look for what exactly you're looking for. And this is basically how the end product will look like um, at the end of this video. And we're going to get into how you can do the same as well. So we're on my Notion now and we're going to start this from scratch by going into creating a new page. So I'm going to click right here and create a new page, uh, make it into a full spread and name this as my bookmark. I'm going to quickly also add some icon. I'm going to pick this one. And I'm gonna go to this three icon over here, which is like a setting. And I'm just gonna quickly go to make this to full width. Um, and I'm going to create a database here. Just gonna type in slash database. And I'm gonna choose with inline, um, which basically means that we can create a database on this page without creating like a second clickable page here. Once you have this, database here. I'm just going to name this um, bookmark library as well. And then you basically have a name and then tags here. And what this tag does, um, it will be really useful later on. You can basically tag as like, let's say chairs or tables, um, sustainable materials. This is really up to how you want to categorize things and like put a keyword. Um, so that it's easier for you to find it later on and just type this keyword and it basically just comes up um, and filters your website, which is very helpful. And we're basically going to the setting again over here on the three dot and make this layout into a gallery mode. Basically, this will kind of um, showcase your bookmark in a gallery and you can see the images. It's more helpful this way. And I'm gonna make also this as a small image and also click this fit um, image as well. Then I'm also going to the property and make this tag um, visible as well so you can kind of filter your category. And basically now we have a database set up. So the next step is um, we're going to download and set up a Google um, Chrome extension called Save to Notion. So we're going to do that next. So if you just type here, um, saves in Notion Chrome extension, or um, yeah, we can do Google Chrome. Um, you'll find this one on the first top category, saves in Notion, and you wanna add this to your Chrome. Just click add extension here. And basically it will tell you that this has been saved um, to our tab. And just let's close this one, and if you click this one over here, basically you'll see all the extension and you want to pin this so that this comes up right next to your star bookmark here. So I'm going to quickly show you as a reference, if I wanted to save um, my favorite furniture company, Vitra, to my Notion bookmark, I'm just going to type in Vitra and go to their website. Um, I'm going to go here and basically Vitra is my favorite um, furniture company and they have all these different products, chairs, tables, um, office systems, um, and it's basically like a Scandinavian influenced furniture. So let's say I want to save this Vitra website to my Notion bookmark. I go up here to this icon that we just downloaded. Um, and if we're doing for the first time, we want to create a form. So we go here and then select the database um, page that we've just created. So make sure you select the page we've created. 
Um, and then we click this bookmark and everything will be fine. And then now this is set up as your default folder that this website will be saved. And you can basically rename the title as you wish. I'm just gonna delete everything and just call it Vitra. And then here you can select your um, thumbnail. So you can either select an image or you can also take a full screenshot. I'm gonna do that. You can basically create your own screenshot as well. And if you just save here, it will come up like this um, and then just clip page. Now it's creating. And you can open this page in Notion. Let's go to our Notion page again. And this is how you'll kind of see. But if we go back to this bookmark library, now it automatically appears here, which is amazing. And what more you can do, basically we go to edit and we can add tags. Um, and then basically what I would do is find out what product they have. So like I'm going to type in chairs, tables, um, what else we've got? We've got sofas office chairs and everything like that. Um, add more tab like lounge chairs, and sofa, stools, benches, and so on. And I'm just gonna show you with different website, let's say. So another website that I like for furniture is a brand called Hay. So I'm just gonna go to Hay website and let's say I want to save this website um, into the Notion. Um, I basically click here again and now everything is set up. So all you need to do is change the name and the title. I'm just going to call it Hey. And then I want to take a new snapshot. So select a um, screenshot and then create your own screenshot. Type enter or hit enter. Um, and then it will basically make your thumbnails for you like this and clip page. We go back to the notion now and now you basically have Hey and Vitra and I'm also going to do the same for the Hey website. I'm going to click and add the tags here um, and basically add everything that I see on the website just so I know what product they have. And this will make my life so much easier when I'm looking for specific products and just need like, let's say I'm looking for a store and I just want to look for the website that has stools um, in the future. So let's add everything. And what you can do now is that you can go to filter and search by tags. You just click here and if you want to search, let's say bed, now this will come up. Voila! So now you can save all your bookmarks here whenever, whether you're at work or you're using on your personal laptop. Notion will definitely help you keep everything on the same location and more organized. I hope this tutorial was helpful and let me know what you think or if you have created your own, please share in the comment with us. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.